and we're live i mean Nothing. recording that is all right so let's remove the grid and i believe right now the tiger time is up yeah. so you go grab that it's right uh, here and place it anywhere in base in base contact with the uh, with these so do i place one or two tigers one on each of okay. the, uh, on, the uh, on each of the hole yeah, right uh so i see it right that you yeah of course playing limited insertion i don't want to set anything in suppressor fire and um, i don't want to restrict your command points for the moment okay um Wait. The tiger is right here, near the templates, over there. Yeah, I just messed something up um, with my controls. So okay, sorry. Um, sorry. Right. No, it's not prone. Um, okay, I think that's... Okay, Shona... Yeah, I believe both the Varangian and Shona are seeing the Tiger. So Shona will try to SMG him and Varangian will chain rifle him as they move out so it works like uh like a yuan yuan essentially ah, they, drop, okay. they drop down yep. they uh, re receive arrows if any and the guija is gonna heavy flamer this tiger now yeah, of course okay then uh he should be able the, to yeah then it was a stupid move but okay so i will make this safe for the uh Kujia tiger and of course it burns and as a running torch it's dead completely okay and now the chain rifle from the varangian i mean the reason why you can just arrow them like that is that uh, otherwise once they are uh, alive in any player's active turn they can do arrows like crazy and dodging on 16s it can surprise you how much of a pain in the ass that mm -hmm. is so here's a uh, save for the uh chain rifle and oh he makes it okay make so that way i'll try to smg her with shona on 14. Yep. she misses <laughs> Okay. So the brawler. Yeah. Yeah, he's seeing Shona without problem. Yeah. Okay. If you don't mind, I'll just. Uh... Yeah. Change the building in this manner. Yep. All right, so um, although the brawler doesn't, yeah, he does not see the the link team. Okay, good enough for me. So let's change the link leader. It's gonna be Haidao, who is still a four four. Mm -hmm. And now everyone is going to stand up. By the way, how many models do I see on the table? Ten. Okay, sounds good. It's a full car, a full Harris, and the duo, so it's, it's ten this time. All right. So going for there. 
and four to there, and four to there. No arrows? Nope. Okay, moving on. Reaching four inches. And I guess we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna move the hideout like that a bit closer. Uh -huh. Yep, still in coherency. That was the tenth order, the ninth order. Hideout is gonna touch the hole and then move back. The remaining people are going to do the same. And Haidao is going to... The MSV2 sniper is going to move a little bit to the side. Hawkwood is going to go back. Same thing with the other Fusiliers. So, still no arrows, I guess. Yep. And now, if I recall correctly, the D charges no longer have minus three on their uh, close combat mode. Yeah, but you can also uh, just uh, deploy them and they blow up in the end of the order automatically. So, you don't have, so you no longer have to uh, yep. do it. An additional short skill? That's yep. correct? Yeah. Oh, that's that's awesome. I love that. Okay, in that case, I'm deploying and detonating the decharge. Yeah, Removing okay. uh, one hole mm -hmm. from the table. All right. This is incredibly useful. Okay, so Still in coherency. All right, in that case, let's spend the lieutenant order on the Guija, mm -hmm. who is the lieutenant, and make him do the long skill of super jumping, combining both <laughs> his movement values. So he's just gonna jump 10 inches over here. Yeah. I believe that provoked no arrows. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Now, his tactical awareness order. It's not the shot company or invincible army with, uh, with the whole tactical awareness galore, but it's something. All right, so... I think if I go here, I'm, I won't see your sniper, so I'll have to super jump on top of here and try and do the shooty shoot with your brawler. So yep. let's see if I can do the super jump, the regular skill. Yes, I can. So moving here, exactly six inches. 
still think you can yeah i still think you can uh, catch me out out of cover so yeah got an arrow so uh two now you have three structure right yeah i'm structure three and armor eight and bts bts six uh then there will be a stun shot or uh, two stun shots yeah makes sense let me check that. Yeah, still BTS six. Okay, uh, I'm gonna multi HMG you. You don't have shock immunity, right? But no, on I the other been. hand, you're armor two. So let's do the AP mode. Okay. Oh, the distance. Oh, so, sorry, I already rolled. Okay, twenty five. That's fine. Would have been a crit, I think. Yeah, yeah, fifteen is a crit. It no, but isn't I was out of cover. Yeah, so 18 yeah. Would, would have been the magical. Yeah. Okay, and I got a 15, and a, yeah, that's not enough. Okay, uh, so two BTS saves. Yeah. Yay, he's stunned. Works as always. Yeah. The best ammunition in the whole game. <laughs> So, I'm pretty certain, yeah, he's got courage, so he, he'll just keep standing. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Let's do it the hard way then. The link leader is Haidao, a multi sniper. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We're gonna move him four inches here. And we're gonna move the other guys as well. Come on. Please. Okay, four inches. Uh, no arrows, I think. Yeah. And we're moving him another four. Okay, so he was at 25 from that distance. Yeah. So he may or may not be within 24 from the ladder that I'm going to be in. Well, I guess we can find out. <laughs> I'll find out soon enough. I don't, I really don't want to remove the roof and keep locking and unlocking models, but Hawkwood leaves me no choice. By the way, uh, I did not account for the fact that the Taiga noticed the Guija, so it can do a free arrow if it wants no, to. No, no, it's it's uh, fine as it is. Okay. So, seventh order. Gonna go into Hailao MSR, who is still the link leader. And uh... 
Okay, I think it's, yeah, it's three inches enough for him to move up. Yep. And let me just lock him again and move Mr. Hawkwood. Four inches up. And I'm going to move that Fusilier guy on top as well. Pretty positive that he's got the, the remaining moves. This guy is going to... Yeah, he's just going to stand there. The hideout with D charges is going to do the same, please. somewhere around here so now we're seeing each other with the brawler and yep. I'm asking you for arrows um, are you seeing the tiger or not that's a good question uh, in that corner yeah good question let me check that uh, yeah we are seeing each other yes okay in that case uh, the tiger will try to dodge uh, this way around the console while my sniper will shoot you with double action ammunition. Okay, I'm gonna shoot you with the double action ammunition as well. Yeah. So let's measure it. Okay, still 25. So yeah, uh, not gonna use Hawkwood on that one. <laughs> so cover, cover. Uh, Positive distance, positive distance. Yeah. Two dice for you and three dice on 16s for me. And I'm on 15 here, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's a 15. Barely ah. made it. Wow. <laughs> okay, then two saves for my brawler. Okay, above 10. And yeah, the nine is enough. Oh, he's completely dead. Oof. Well, that's one thing N4 is never gonna be gonna change when you roll low. <laughs> okay, so and the yeah, dodge the for dodge. your tiger creature. Something like uh, one thousand. But yeah. I think she's good. You can dodge her up to four inches. Okay. And okay. Uh, by the way, you don't have to specify where you where you're dodging it. So you can declare the dodge, you can, uh, and when it's when it is successful, uh, it's gonna. Then you're moving it. Okay. And so uh, it dodges, uh, but still, uh, I can cover. Oh, never mind. But yeah, there it it's is. It's impetuous. Yeah. All right. So the Varangian has SMG, if I recall correctly. Although it would have been a waste to to trade him with the Tiger, since he's only dogged, and I don't have, <laughs> and I don't have any doctors yet again. By the way, the stunned state can be cured by the doctor or an engineer, depending on who got stunned. So that's interesting. I mean, that was an obvious change that should have been made. Uh, yeah, of course. From the get go. Yeah. Okay, let's see. All right, but the hideout is still seeing her. I think if he moves a little, even a little bit, he should be able to see her. Though I don't think I want to go with the hideout. So instead, well, 
let's uh, spend another order into Mr. Hawkwood. We're gonna move some people up. This Fusilier is gonna move where the Hawkwood used to be. They hide out. Come on. Where is he? Uh, oh, behind he the building. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing him. Okay. So the hideout. So it's three inches. So one inch more. Okay, Hogwarts is here. Lock him up. Up. So he's just going to go here. Okay, now that this voodoo shit is over with the roofs, uh, what are the arrows from the tiger? The tiger wants to dodge again. Okay, I'm gonna Red Fury the Tiger. Yep. And just outside of 8 inches, so lucky me. Uh, I'm gonna shoot her on 19s, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. On 5 dice. And you do the dodge. Okay, got a 16 and a crit. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so that would be five armor saves against damage 13. Shock. Nah, uh, close one. But... <laughs> yeah, close one. Pretty good. It did pretty well. Okay, I think we can start going from here. So, <clears throat> the next order, I'm just going to move Hawkwood down. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to, yeah, he, he'll be the link leader. Uh, I'm going to move Hawkwood down uh, in more ways than one. He's going to drop prone with his second movement skill. Uh, same thing with these fusiliers over here. The engineer, he's fine, uh, but uh, I'm gonna put him in the corner here so that he can overwatch some stuff. Amazingly, the cheapest decharge uh, bearer in the in the white company is the Hideout. With, I mean, there is also a Zenshi engineer, uh, but uh, he's not a gunfighter. He's not a combat engineer. Is what I, yeah, I guess that's what I tried to say. Yeah. So the cheapest combat engineer is actually the Hideout. Uh, I think maybe I, I goofed it with uh, with the engineer part because uh, he's just a regular guy. It's a regular profile, but he does have D charges, even though he's not an engineer. So he's 21 points 
and he's cheaper than the Kaplan with ADHL and uh, the charges, who's 23. Yeah, but the Kaplan wow. is quite expensive as always. I mean, yeah, but uh, it appears that mimetism is uh, is more valuable than uh, than NWI with shock immunity. But I mean, it's kind of obvious uh, when you see the what sort of filth the evaders are from nomads. So no yep. surprises there. Okay, so I got <clears throat> yeah, I got four orders left, and we can try and do. We can try and do some stuff. We can start working on that door in the objective room, I think. So let me check. Does Shona have multi pistol? Where is she? Right. Okay. No. Yeah. No multi stuff and no stun rounds. Okay. Well, we can start working on that door. So let's spend the fourth to last order and. Uh, have Shona as the link leader. And she's got a super jump. Oh, but the Varangians do not. Okay. In that case, she's just gonna move along with her Varangian pal. So, I guess four yep. inches there. Or, yeah just barely so she's on top here the varangian is here any arrows no okay scarface can't quite see them all right and another four to here actually that would be somewhat something like that okay Wow, these these Warcraft models. No, that that are fire warriors from forty k. Oh, so they're from that uh, first person shooter about the towel. I, nah, I think it's more from um, from Dawn of War. But I'm not that sure. I mean, uh, this guy here. He seems like human. Yeah, of and course. Yeah, that, that's ah, okay. Yeah, that's an it's from Warcraft. Of, of course, you're right. Sorry, yeah, but uh, okay. I just noticed the fire warriors here. Alrighty. So third to last, Shona is gonna go four inches there. Let me see if they have stealth. Yes, they. Uh, Shona does. Ah. The Varangian does not. So once he is in the zone of control, you can try and mark him. It yeah. lasts two player turns full. Is that correct? No, uh, targeted needs to be resetted. That's uh, the only so option it just to get rid of so it. So it just lasts until forever, right? Yeah, so that's, uh, that's what... Cool my interpretation of it but uh i can check it while you're moving um and of course i want to spotlight the um the varangian if he's in zone of control yeah okay and shona's gonna go into base-to-base -to -base contact with the thing so go ahead with uh with the spotlight yeah, it's uh, normal willpower, so... Page 65. 
and I think you are targeted. Looks like it. A success causes the target to enter the targeted state. Okay. Yep. Uh, and minus three whip mode. Or the yep. engineer can do that, which uh, I don't have. All right, so where is the targeted state? That's uh... somewhere around here, I think. Yes, there it is. For the record, if uh, Wyrock and I or any other guys uh, uh, dealing with the update uh, to M4 for this uh, TTS mod are going to watch this, uh, I think you'll want to bring the targeted state marker here to the direct panel because it's going to happen a lot and I think you can by the same account remove the marksmanship level too because it's not as common. Yeah, I would totally agree to this uh, and the extremely ambitious is uh, not needed so yeah, the place. that's also true. Okay, so Shona is whip 13 and Varangians Varangians are like you want you want meaning whip 13 as well. Okay, uh, second to last order. Uh, Shona is gonna idle. Yep. And I think um, she, she, she's gonna idle, and she's right now she's in the base to base contact with uh, with uh, difficult terrain since so she's touching the wall. So yeah. she can only move like three three inches or something like that. But now I can't target her since uh she has stealth and i need to yeah i can't i am gonna um... i'm gonna whack the door so yeah oh, but i can't right, i can't delay right. that's the that's problem that's right you can you cannot delay oh actually you could have targeted shona the war driver still got the the, the six sense level one so it ignores stealth ah okay yeah in, in that case i would simply uh, target shona now yeah Makes sense. All right, so, whoops. I'm just gonna put the prone marker on the on Shona so that she has some cover and can give some line of sight to the Varangian in case someone goes here. All right, so second short skill, um, you can, Go ahead and target the uh, the Varangian as well if you want to. Yeah. Yeah, that but, works. Uh, since okay, <laughs> so since we're in the duo link, uh, I'm gonna use the advantage of two dice. Yeah. And since it's Shona who is the link leader, I'm gonna use her insane martial arts level four with CC attack of plus one damage. Meaning that would be uh, two strikes of damage 18 with AP EXP. Yep. Oh. <laughs> That's wow. Not good for the so double critical. <laughs> so eight armor saves, please. And the doors are, if I recall correctly, armor six. So that would be, you need to roll above 15s. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that door uh, just uh, exited the existence. She showed me just ripped through the space time. All right. So. The last order. Let's um, let's activate Mr. Hawkwood for the last time. He's the core leader. Uh, 
Oh, actually, no, no, no. I don't want to activate him. No, sir. I want him to stay where he is. Instead, um, instead, let's move Guija from the harm's way, I think. So, he's gonna super jump on the floor below, right here. Any arrows? Nope. Okay, and he's gonna super jump with the second skill for four inches, right here. And that's my turn. Okay, so that's for the moment the Haidao overwatching one side, but then there's only the camo marker quite blocked by whatever. Okay, uh, so starting with your tigers, I guess. Yes. Here it goes. So not a lot of stuff overwatching them, so let's move them here. Like this. And another one. Yeah, I think she's screwed. It's screwed either way, <clears throat> so just gonna deploy her here. Yeah, that is uh, a man of fire. Um, of yeah, wolf. Your Mr. Mr. Wolf Caesar. Then there will be two double action shots with this multi rifle. Yep, go ahead. You are within 16s, just barely. Eight. And uh, that's one hit. One hit. And it's dead. Mm -hmm. I think okay. your hacker, uh, Drews, can spotlight the taiga. Yeah, this guy uh, here. I didn't announce it, so it's okay. All right. So, on so, to your turn. Yeah. Making it uh, nine regular orders and the tactical awareness for Scarface. Since only my brawler died. Yes. Now the question is. Um, just checking. Who is no? The Varangian gets a slight line of fire into the. Objective room and Shona too, right? Or I simply can um, shoot them down. The Varangian. Hang on. The Varangian has only this corner here, mm. but uh, both of them are facing that way because they trust that the hideout will protect them. Nah. <laughs> Maybe that trust is misplaced. Okay. So then let's try out what is uh, under your camo marker by activating uh, the Harris around Wolf. Okay. Everyone will stand up. Now, oh, come on. Um, yeah, we want to move. Like. One point four uh, five to this and two point five to this. The HMG. Go. 
was 1.8, 1 inch and 2.2. .2. Something like that. Just flip over. Oh. And the killer hacker wants to vote through the door, uh, through the window, of course. Okay. Going four inches to. To this. Any arrows? Okay. Um, so uh, I am going to uh, carbonite your Druze killer hacker because that's the Gwilang hacker. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to reset. Okay. So my whip 14 against my 13. Oh, okay. Okay. But well, that's quite fine. Next All regular right. order lets uh, my killer hacker take over the turn. Um, we will declare a move in the. F Are we still in zone of control? Remains to be seen. You were at the yeah. start of the turn. Of the of the movement, of, yeah. I start, but I then I moved a bit. Um, I will move two inches um, towards your position and two inches back, just to start where I, I end my uh, movement. Right where I started. Okay. All right. The HMG so... will advance a bit, and of course, Mr. Wolf will. Oh, no, no, I don't want to get targeted. That's easy. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, there's rubbish lying everywhere. Would you say that we're seeing each other through this gap? In the, that way, you deployed. I don't uh, think so. Okay, makes sense. Uh, carbonite again. And Trinity as. That is what what I am, uh, yep. what I what I am able, right? Three on 16s for you and one on 14s for yep. me. Well, that's a three. Okay, two hits. Yep. I believe I'm BTS. I'm BTS, whatever. So Guilang uh, against my okay, damage, I'm whatever. BT. Yeah. Okay, um, Trinity. Trinity is damage 14. Oh, yeah, it's damage 14. He's dead. Congrats. Yes. He's removed. Okay, so then uh, the next order the killer hacker stays link leader. We want to advance. All right. The HMG will go somewhere like this. Any arrows? The war driver will try to lightning your uh, Druze KHD. Okay, and I try to Trinity him. Okay, so the lightning is. Let me check that. It's back in the N3 builder. Isn't it just like Trinity? 
plus 3 with damage 16? I don't think so. I think uh, I made it. I selected that thing specifically because it's uh, an overpowered piece of shit. So. Lightning imposes no advantages for me. It imposes minus six for you. Uh, breaker ammunition, damage 15. Okay. Yeah, so then I'm on 10th. Okay. The war driver is on 15, uh, 13, sorry. That's a seven. And that's me a seven also. as well. Yeah. Uh, actually, okay, yeah. The, the tiger is not seeing you yet. Yeah, but if I move forward, then uh, yeah. So next order, the killer hacker stays um, stays link leader. We want to move. Okay, Tiger sees Mr. Wolf. Yeah. The HMG stays behind. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the tiger will would like to dodge towards you, and uh, the war driver will lightning the druze once again. Okay, uh, I will trinity the war driver again. Okay, that's a four. Ah, oh, come on! Dangerous. I. I... Uh... 15. Okay, break, breaker, damage 15, so your BTS 2. Yeah, so making it 15, so I'm unconscious, right? Looks like it, yeah. Now the dodge for the tiger. It fails. Okay. That was the worst result possible here. No. Next order, Wolf will enter base contact uh, with Vidar. Uh, does Wolf have stealth? I would have said it's included in martial arts, but... <laughs> nope. <coughs> Unnested rules. Yeah, so uh, Frenzy, Berserk, everything but no stealth in there. All right. In that case, I would like Shona to and the Varangian, if possible, to dodge for minus three, so that they can see this uh, objective room. Yep. And the Taiga is gonna dodge towards here. Okay. Um. Ah, oh, that's shit. I need to, to shoot the tiger with my multi rifle. Shock mode. No double action. Uh, shock, shock, since uh, double action is only best one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah have you noticed the bug where multi HMG has explosive mod with burst 4? Uh, there are several bugs, so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's uh, do the face to face first then. Yeah. I'm on uh, 16, I guess, or 15. Uh, yep, I'm on That's 16s. Two. That was almost a 3, but then it rolled over to 15. So it dodges. Move her up. 4 inches. Actually, hold on. Nice! The light is indeed dynamic the the green the green light reflects on on the on the wall it's cool all right shona uh she's got dodge plus three i believe 
but please check zone of control since uh, I'm standing yes outside sure. of the objective room so that could be fiddly yeah it could be outside just check it okay um, so here's Shona Ooh. nope and the Varangian. Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I no, no problem. Over your, I'm, I'm, I'm in your wolf. And this guy is. Yeah, okay. They're not in ZOC. Okay. So. Um, okay, my war driver then... haven't spotlighted you. <laughs> yeah. That was a mistake. All right. Yeah, so just that role this uh has needs to be done, right? I believe that's it for for your uh, for that order. My yeah. arrows uh, have been dealt with. Okay. So the next order goes into the um uh, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> He's a nice template range, so that's uh, quiet shit. <laughs> the HMG activates and guns your tiger down. So idle for the HMG and change facing a little bit. So, uh, so okay, nice. so all right, the link, yeah, the link is broken. broken. So <laughs> when the HMG idles, uh, only the HMG does that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, dodging uh, and the war driver if the HMG is within range would like to spotlight you yeah the HMG will shoot the tiger with uh, yeah, the HMG okay let's just see if he's in range no he's not no. so dodging on 16s and your HMG would be on 12s. four shots on 15 I know I uh, below 16 sorry yeah of course yeah that's 10 inches so it's 12 for me on, yeah that's a four, pretty low. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, looks like it dodged it. Okay. But Wolf has two wounds now that I remember it right. Yeah, he can trade with, without yeah. any issues. In that case, Wolf activates and um, yeah, enters base contact with the uh, door. So he's in base contact with the door. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tiger wants to dodge into base contact with the, with Mr. Wolf, and War Driver will want to uh, spotlight him. And actually, the HVTs actually they are they will be seeing Mr. Wolf either way, although. This one will not be doing that, so she will try to change facing on eights. Yeah. Well, in this one as well, I guess. So yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so I have Berserk and Martial Arts Level Three, but now that's the question. Of course, I will use my uh, double action class combat weapon, not the uh, para. Okay. Uh, where's this table here? So go ahead and do the roll. Yeah. So one die. No crit. No, no crit. I don't think so. Your martial arts level three, right? Yeah. And your fizz is uh, fourteen. Okay, so damage sixteen. So I need to roll above uh, above ten. And I do. Mm -hmm. Wow, sturdy door. Sturdy door. And now the spotlight from the war driver. Mm -hmm. That's a fail. Uh, mm -hmm. Dodge from the tiger. That's a success. Mm -hmm. 
So it's now in base contact with uh, Mr. Wolf. And now the two HVTs. This one dodging on eights. That's a failure. And the other one, the one in the center, she passes. Yep. So since she can dodge, uh, I want her to dodge two inches over there. That's a handy and for change for sure. I believe that's it as far as the arrows are concerned. Okay. I will activate the HMG. Alrighty. Uh, moving towards the rest of my link. Okay, if, just to be safe, uh, Tiger will try to uh, dodge in place because she has six sense level one and she can do that while being in close combat. Yeah. I will move again. Alrighty. So no need to to chain code into the close combat and bonding myself by my roads today. I don't believe it allows that. Uh, it's possible, but it hits uh, both targets. So I can vault uh, through the window. So hold on, is that is that a thing in M4? Yeah. Okay, cool. It wasn't a thing in N3. Uh, no, it's it's it was the same in N3, I guess. If I template into the close combat, both are hit, uh, get, get hit, hit, well, whatever. Uh, the close combat. Yeah, it's the template. That's the issue here. I will reform my core team with uh, yeah the brawler. No, no, it needs to be the. Uh, Hacker in front and uh, including the Truth HMG standing there. And so, so there's a five man link again. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Five man link again. Um, I will use the tactical awareness order from Scarface. He is higher than the thing next to him. So uh, the team will. Move. Six inches to this. And uh, Cordelia stands up. Okay. And moves four inches to. Uh, sorry, did the Scarface uh, want to see the hideout? How should he be able to? There's a building. Uh, between them and there is no window okay if, that, if that's not the intention i mean uh, i did i didn't see if you were moving out if you were not then that's fine no no it's it's just uh into that direction i moved okay. no peeking out here right yeah i, I was just I looking move... looking up the rules to see the the template and the close combat thing <laughs> okay so uh and they will move again sure I'm going to this, and uh, Cordelia just goes prone again. Uh, no, one order left. But what could we do about it? Hmm. 
I need to 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 activate the link team. Uh, my yeah, my normal hacker stays uh, link leader. All right. Uh, we want to move. Uh, so the the Drew hacker is link leader here. Okay. We declare a move. He stays prone. Better keep your heads down. Yeah. But from your position, if I no no we 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 skip this whole thing. Um, just uh, end end of my turn. Otherwise. You would simply shoot me down by your point of view. You you can drop someone into suppressive fire if you want to. No, I'm not. All That's right it. then. Yeah. Okay. Pretty fucked up. Uh... Actually, I looked up the stun state, the stun state that my Guija was in, and it looks like mm -hmm. that it now lasts uh, for the entire. Uh, game round. Uh, so no, since um, there is a status phase in front of each uh, turn. Yeah, but it says at the start of the states phase uh, of the player turn in which it was caused. So it was caused in my player turn. So I think yeah. what it means is it cancelled at the start of the states phase of my player turn. Meaning you've got uh, your whole player turn to uh, during which uh, my Guija is still stunned. Oh, that depends on where the state phase is uh, located. Uh, I know it from Aristea that uh, the state phase is in the end of the turn. So uh, then each state is Maybe. flipped. Yeah. Okay. If that's the case, then it's okay. All righty. Um... I may or may not want to deal with this war driver right away. Uh, I uh, remind you that the war driver, let me see. Yeah, the war driver cannot declare attacks against a designated target. So. Mm -hmm. uh, Killing the designated targets with the template weapon is out of the menu. <clears throat> so I'd like to uh, break the link uh, right away, the duo uh, link team. And have the Varangian impetuously move towards the war driver. Yep. For... Uh... So... Two inches here and one inch here, I guess. That's some sick backflip. All right, so he's armed with... He no longer has cover. He is targeted and he's armed with... Uh... Chain rifle, smoke grenades, heavy pistol, and a submachine gun. So, arrows from the war driver. He will dodge. Alright. In that case, uh, he's gonna unload with his S SMG on 13s. I fail. Me too. You too. <laughs> nice. All right, so how should I go about this? Oh, the link doesn't have, yeah, it doesn't even have a specialist in it. Right. Okay. Okay, then let's do uh, some coordinated orders. Spend those command tokens. So, uh, 
the Varangian is going to be the spearhead. And I'm also going to include this camo marker here. And uh, probably include the Guija as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the spearhead is going to be the Varangian. He's going to move into base, uh, into base contact with the war driver. Camo token is going to move four inches and the Guija is going to move six inches right there. Arrows from the war driver. Yeah, uh, the boarding shotgun shot against the uh, Varangian. Okay, just the regular AP mode, right? Although I believe you can go for the template instead. No, it's just you... the... I, I want to roll. Okay. In that case, I'm going to berserk you with my AP close combat weapon. Huh? And that would bring me plus three. So, yeah, 26. So this means that's an eight. So but it's not face to face roll. now, right? Yeah, so then there is my roll. I guess it's on plus uh, nine. So yep. that's a hit. That's a success. And so my armor save uh, 14. Cause... He's armor two. So yeah. I have I no physics. Uh... Just barely. Yeah. Uh, I need and to make fizz... one armor save, right? Yeah, his fizz is 14. Yeah, so he goes unconscious. Yes, that is correct. And I'd like to disengage him. Yeah. Uh, another coordinated order. We're going to move. Yeah, we're going to have the same bunch of Guija. Uh, camo token and the Varangian to carefully move 1.4, 1.6. This guy is going to move 4 inches. Guija would move 6 inches here. Any arrows? No. Nope. Okay. And we're now going to move the remaining inches into base contact here. Camo token is going to go remaining four inches. Actually, since he enters the I wonder how this thing works, the total terrain thing. Uh, do you receive an additional inch when you, the second you touch the difficult terrain zone? Or does it happen during the second skill? That's a good question. Must match the type applied when declaring a skill with the movement skill in the terrain area. Okay, so okay. So right now he should be yeah he should be able to do that. And the Guija's second movement. here okay that was another one another order now let's uh, spend a regular order 
into the scammer token. It's going to move five inches there. Hmm. Yeah, why not? And then the second... Okay, uh, is anyone seeing him right now? No. Alright. I think your HMG was seeing him actually when he was moving uh, uh, into this position. Uh. Yeah. Oh, of course. I shouldn't, uh. Yeah, I shouldn't have. Uh, it's... Yeah, okay. Buildings. That's such a big problem. Yeah. Actually, my Guiji is right <laughs> now uh, out of cover for your uh, heavy machine gun. Yeah, but uh, for the moment, the HMG do does not see him. I would say that the, the edge is... I don't know. Seems pretty clear that he's visible. I mean, yeah, these are the edges, but uh, they're still seeing each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Now with the silhouette, yeah. Okay. And your Jews can now actually either discover the, the camo token or... Uh, or make no, it I, 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 I forgot about it, so... Uh... No, no arrows this time. Okay, then I'm, I'll move uh, another five inches. 2.3 and then 2.7. Whoa. All right, so the next skill, I'm going to make a whip roll with plus three to cover all of the people in my zone of control and make yep. them uh, see you back. So that's a 17. And that's a success. So mm -hmm. they are now in the state. Now we're gonna move them. Okay, is everyone locked in that building? Yeah, thankfully. <laughs> the paranoia. Four inches. Four inches. This girl moves. Three inches and... Uh, what, what was your camo marker? That's a Gwilang hacker. Another one. Okay. All right. They 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 are technically having multi terrain, uh, as I stated it in the uh, in the updated rulebook. But uh, I'm not sure if I want to grant them total terrain, with the implication that they would receive plus one movement while yeah. inside that thing. I think it would be a little bit op. So the Gwilang is going to hop it right there. Two inches there and two inches there. The volunteer is going to go three inches there and one inch to here. The diplomat is going to go four inches there. The hexer is going to go there. That's a colorful b bunch. <laughs> or uh, Pan Oceanian or like O12 prisoners all right and the fifth order goes into we line again goes here the volunteer is going here actually I wouldn't want to nah nah let them go here Point three. Okay. And now 
but the second uh, short skill Guilang is gonna actually he's gonna be right there and the NGO volunteer will go here actually she's just gonna drop her own mm -hmm. oh that's a tiger She's just gonna drop prone and move two inches. The Toha diplomat is gonna do the same, moving two inches. Dropping prone, the Hexer. The Hexer is gonna go here. She won't drop prone because she needs to cover the distance. Uh, and uh, okay, let's see. That's about it. All right. So now what we'll have to do? Oh, damn! We you know what we forgot? We forgot about uh, the tiger. Place. Uh, Let's it, do the it, mental map. Br bring makes them no over sense here. here. No, uh, just just uh, forget about this tiger here because there was too in too much interaction uh, in all of this to resolve it now. Well, we can just uh, the the hideout multi sniper was seeing her, so we can just see if he managed to kill her to kill it okay yeah in, in that case i would do a dodge and yeah yeah sure so double 16s for me and 116 for you <laughs> yay nice oh actually that was during your uh spawning uh thing yeah when you spawned so that so... was the arrow yeah, that was just an unopposed arrow. So then it would be four saves for the tiger. Just to see if it survives. Was my 16 a success? It was, but uh, I forgot that uh, that arrow was meant for the point when uh, the tiger emerged. So it's just an unopposed arrow. Whenever, ah, yeah, whenever a tiger appears, yeah, you should, yeah. as if it was a drop troop. Yeah, sorry, I uh, forgot about it. Man. That would be four. Yeah, uh, yeah, it wasn't reacting properly, so. No, okay, think, we don't have yeah. to worry about that. All right. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> then we have the CC attack from your tiger against mine. Mr. Wolf. No, 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 that's, that's, that's not, that's not it. Uh, the tiger, this tiger will activate only at the start of your turn. Ah, okay. So, so yeah, now I understood, uh, your point here. Yeah. That's why, I mean, otherwise, uh, all tigers would have been emerging from all, from all the holes. Instead they emerged from the, the two on your side and the two on my side. Yeah, I, I thought that uh, in the, the activation phase, um, each tiger reacts in each turn, but uh, okay. Yeah, now that's clear. <clears throat> All right. So we got four orders left. And the question is, can I bring my Hydal in there? And... Uh, slap a D charge onto it. I think I might have this ability. <clears throat> but uh, first things first, uh, we'll need to dispose of that Drew's HMG. So let's spend the Lieutenant order on the Guija. Mm -hmm. And he's just gonna, he's just gonna jump for six inches right there. Yeah. To break line will... of fire, but the HMG Drews can still uh, fire at him. Yeah, I will shoot you. Okay, I'm gonna shoot you with the H multi HMG as well. 
Yeah. So positive range bands, 25 inches again, same as uh, with the sniper. So you're so on 18s and I'm on yeah. 14s. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> These LF dies are sick. That's a double 14. Yeah. Jesus. Okay, but my nine, no, the 12. Your, your 14 count actually canceled the remaining two, yeah. so it's only, so it's just four uh, armor saves. That was the AP. So your armor five. Yeah, not to mention. Okay. All right, let's uh, do the coordinated order with the Guija and the Haidao, uh, who is outside of the link now. The Haidao with the charges. So we're gonna move him. four inches to here. The hideout is just gonna slam into cover. Actually, it's better to have him over there. Yes. So the Guija is in cover and in the, in the, the difficult terrain. No arrows, I think. Yeah. Okay. And now the second skill, the hideout is gonna 1.2 move here, and then 2.8 move over there. And then the Guija is just gonna do nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, third to last order, hideout is just gonna move for his full movement, if that's okay. Yep. Actually, he can just hop on top of this. Second to last order. Move him into base to base contact here. For 2.2. .2. And then move him back. And the second mm -hmm. skill, uh, plant and detonate the decharge. Yeah. So that's another one down. Uh, the last order is gonna go into the hideout, who will Who's just gonna move four inches there and then uh, another four inches? Hold on. So he was here and now he's gonna move four inches there. And then he's gonna drop prone and move two inches into this cover. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna reform the link around Hawkwood using the last command token. Yep. So that the hideout is within the zone of control. And then I'm gonna spend tactical awareness order of the Guija and drop him into suppressive fire. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. First, I will do the order count. I'm down to seven regular orders. And now the tigers are emerging. Yep. So one would go here. Your juice hacker can spotlight it. Yeah. And the brawler hacker too, so two spotlight All attempts. Right, yeah. So first the normal uh, brawler on 12. Yeah. And I don't. Well, okay, this normal. tiger emerges as well, and it yeah. is seen by the Scarface. 
Yeah, there will be an HMG shot. So the tiger is spotlighted, right? Yeah, the tiger is spotlighted, and it depends on range if the 15 hits or not. No, bell. Come on. That's bullshit. I I, I want the tiger to be dead. <laughs> it, it's dug it, so. Uh, no, it's, shoot it. it's it's not. No, it's not no? dugged. No. Oh, okay. So the. Yeah. So yeah, fifteen. It's, uh, yeah. Six. Boom. Yep. Sixteen because of fertility, but yeah. Okay. Um then what does the other tiger okay. does uh, to my wolf? Alright, she uh, she berserks the wolf. She does the um num num with uh, double action. Uh, in and that case, we'll, I want... have, we'll have to check if uh, Tiger's Berserk grants her any bonuses to close combat. I'm gonna check that real quick. Yeah. No, it's just a regular Berserk, so CC21 for me. Yeah, I would uh, simply dodge. Oh, no, no, is it probably. It's gonna be two normal rolls, so. Yeah, and if I succeed, then I get got, uh, get hit uh, each way. In that case, I can berserk you too, and everything's fine. Hang on, I'm. I don't know. I uh, asked about about this uh, combination of uh, dodging versus berserking. And I'll have to check it. Because when I asked about it, uh, another player, they said that it, either way, uh, even if you dodge successfully, it is still uh, a successful attack from the Berserk is still. Yeah, I, I, I would uh, say the same. So uh, you just play it that way. In that case, I want to see. Uh, I want. I want to. to um, yeah, I can better. Close combat. Uh, right? Close combat, even. yeah. Okay, so here goes. And that's just a regular hit. Yeah, so two saves for Mr. Wolf. I think the 16 Only uh, is one good. wound. Yeah, 16 is good. And now my CC attack. Yep. Uh, your double so... action as well, right? Yeah. And your damage 16. If I yeah, recall with correctly. martial arts a 3. Actually, I, I hold on. Doesn't Does Wolf have a natural born warrior? I don't think, uh, think so. Actually, but... it doesn't matter because natural born warrior now just doesn't allow people to use their martial arts skills. Yeah, but uh, he has no in, uh, natural born warrior. It's just okay. Armand. Yeah, but NBW no longer. Yeah, it, it no longer. Uh, it is no longer as overpowered as it used to be. Okay, in that case, uh, now the tiger is unconscious, and uh, I want to um, to disengage. Yeah, I'll just remove it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so maybe not the best option, but um, yeah, I will activate Wolf. He will move four inches. to this and move again 2.5 and keep in mind that since you're touching the wall you're effectively in the difficult terrain uh, so that would be like 3-3 three, three. so then I will go 2 inches back
1.6, just changing. Yeah, something like this. Okay. Okay. So that was the first uh, skill. So disabling the auto race here. Next regular order goes into a wolf. He will move, move again, since with six inches I won't reach anything. Okay, Shona will try to dodge uh, behind Guiju's back. For four yeah. inches. So, yeah, she can do it. So that would be on 14s. That's a success. She's over there. Actually, hold on. She's in the difficult terrain. Yeah, but does it affect anything? Just one inch less. If the trooper chooses to continue to move, they must declare a new order and apply minus three mod, minus one mod to, uh, to both values of their movement attribute. It doesn't say anything about dodging distance though, because they say the move attribute. Move, cautious movement, climb, jump, or the... Yeah, so then that is the same as in uh, N3, so uh, dodge is not affected by this. I thought N3 says that you can dodge no further than one inch tops. So this is actually a another boost to dodging. Because yeah. if you're in difficult terrain, you can just uh, kinematica two, kinematica two, through it, and just brute force it that way. Yeah. Okay. So that's interesting. So I will spend the next order into a wolf. He will um, advance in a way that uh, I. W so I think I can get down a fire to your sniper before. Uh, yeah, so maybe... Probably, it depends on whether or not we're playing this uh, gap as an actual line of sight or not. Does this position work? Of course not, how should it? If it's... If, let's do ah. it that it's not a... it doesn't have a line of sight. Oh, oh, and also the Varangian. The Varangian is also yep. going to dodge during this skill that you're declaring when you're moving in and, uh, to the sniper. Does Varangian have... No, he doesn't have a lot. Okay. He'll try to dodge at on um, 11s. And that's an A. Okay, so if, you, if you'd like to see the sniper, then uh, go ahead. I think in that way, uh, it is quite clear that only the sniper can see me. Yes, I agree. So the sniper is going to double action. Yeah, I will shoot you in uh, with my multi-rifle in burst mode. Okay, AP, I guess. Uh, if well, yeah, he, yes. does, he, he has shock immunity, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's go. So that's a good... Okay, I'm on 13s, I guess. Yeah. It's a zero and yeah, plus three, minus three, so it's... Uh, yeah. And I'm on uh, my PS with four shots, since uh, I have uh, just one burst on my multi-rifle. So I'm on 12. Okay. 
Oh, that's a one out of ten. Ah. Okay. Only one. This one's one is, made. is okay. And this one is fine too. Okay. Uh, we want to repeat this one more time. Okay, the Varangian will... Yeah, he'll try to dodge again. This time he succeeds. So he goes two inches here. Changing his facing like that. And now the Haidao, yeah, he's gonna double action you as well. Yeah. A two and a six. Two hits. Okay, with double ten. tens. Cool. Two times against the uh, thirteen. Okay, so his armor five and cover. Does he? Does uh, Wolf have fa fatality? Uh, I don't think so. No. Nope. Okay. So. Hmm. If you move out here, you're probably going to be able to see the hexa. But then you'd have to move through the suppressive fire of the Guija. Yeah, I'm going to fail my guess with the Haidao. I'm going to gamble it. Oh, sorry. The wound and... Uh... He goes prone. Now you made a big mistake. Probably, yeah. I will do a cautious movement. Can you do that within the zone of control? I just need to be out of line of fire. Is that how it works in M4? So there is some some paragraph about um, zone of control, but I haven't understood it right. Okay. So it's. Do you have a page? At the moment of declaration, the trooper must be outside of line of fire and zone of control of all enemy models and markers. So, there is a stealth skill. Fucking garbage. Yes, I know. This, if you had stealth, you would have been able to do yeah. cautious movement and zone of control. But I see okay, your play case, here. You would have been able to, yeah. You would, you would have been able to move yeah. him in the back and then just <laughs> unleash the fury. Yeah, that that would have been a mistake on my part. I agree. Well, then let's do it a little bit more risky. Um, I will, instead of declaring the the um, cautious movement, I will simply. Move three inches to this. All right. So, if any HVTs are in the zone of control, uh, they would like to dodge. Um, and if the Guilang is within his EOC, he'd like to drop the spotlight on him. Okay. And the Guiji is going to suppress a fire, you obviously. Yeah. I will dodge. Okay. So I'm shooting you while you were moving out of cover. So mm -hmm. that would be on 14s. I'm on 17 with my dodge. You know that's oh, the suppressive man. fire uh, penalties. Oh. Right. <clears throat> but not on. Okay, we have to reread. But, uh, but yeah, the oh, five. That's not. That's not it. I'm sorry. I I rolled four dice instead of three. Uh, 
seven, seven. and two, so only a seven. Yeah. AP mode. So one safe. That shouldn't be not enough. That shouldn't be yeah. enough. So. Okay. So the okay. diplomatic Close delegate the will. The delegate will dodge a bit back. And she does. Still got Scarface. Yep. Um, I will activate my core team. Already, right? The... Because the hideout, yeah, the hideout is hidden, so you can move in relatively safely. Um. No, no, no. We have to do it the other way around. Before we activate the core team, I will flip the lieutenant order for Aslan. Okay. And. Um... He will move four inches. To this, well, maybe it's, uh, I think 3.3 .3 is enough. And okay. 0 0.7 back. Yeah. Getting line of fire to your tiger. You mean the, you mean the hideout or the? No, you're the tiger. Oh right, the, the, this this guy, I, I forgot yeah. about him. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, it would have uh, Shane rifled my uh, hacker when standing right, up. Right, yeah. It still may actually, but uh, I think I'm better off dodging into dodging into here. On sixteens, so you'd be shooting me on nineteens with three dice. Okay, so you will dodge, uh, and in that case, I will shoot you with uh, in shock mode with my multi rifle. Okay. That's a fourteen. Yeah, it's Nineteen for me. <sighs> okay. These dice are not rolling well. this game I will do a coordinated order actually you can now go for the Jews HD and uh, I think if he stands up then the that he will be able to see the tiger probably yeah, but the tiger is this uh, can see him too so no it, it can't it's yeah, in the back the and, sin yeah. and since I cannot delay I can only dodge when you do something like that. I will dodge without penalties, yeah, but uh, I won't be able to shoot back at you. Uh, in that case, okay, let's uh, not do the, the coordinated order. It's simply the um, activating the core team. And let's make the second state here. The hacker will uh, stand up. Okay, Tiger will try to dodge. Uh, yeah, it will try to change facing to see you as well. She's gonna do that. And actually, she's gonna dodge into here. I will I will move move a bit uh, with it. Sorry, but uh, yeah, okay, no problem. To reach this position. Sure. And uh, with my second shot skill, I try to um, shoot a pitcher 
to this position. Oh, so you're shooting a pitcher? Yep. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Okay, I'm scared. All right. So, okay, I, I will use uh, both of them uh, with one shot. Okay, so let me do this. Two times on 15. Okay, so you're going to do the disposable on both of them. Yeah. All right. So Tiger dodged successfully. She is and right here. I right deploy now. the pitcher. Okay, and I believe that she... Hang on. Actually, she doesn't see the hacker now. Lol. Okay, that's spooky and scary. I will uh, reform my link, taking Aslan back in it. Okay. Yeah. Keep in mind that the tiger is now seeing him. Yeah, but uh, since now the ranges are quite good, I can activate the link team with Aslan as link leader. Okay. And we will first declare a move, which is taken by Aslan. To go. Oh, God, wait. We will simply. Okay. Go to this. Um, the hacker, uh, whatever happened to the other one, um, the Drew hacker will go prone. All right. Um, the tiger will try to engage you at the starting position where the Arslan was. Remember that uh, now. Um, yeah, dodging get, and, uh, and engaging is the same thing. Yeah. But you, you get arrows for, for the uh, things in repeater range. So I can now declare arrows in the repeater range? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. Um, well, since the Arslan is the link leader and not the hacker, I think. <laughs> the Guija is good. Yeah. Okay. Um, my second shot skill would be an uh, shoot uh, with shock mode on the tiger. Okay. So it's nineteen again, but with four shots now. All right. It's actually twenty-two since you're in the full link. No, oh, it's no, you're just not four in the guys. Link, right. Right, okay. The tiger failed, actually. So, uh, four yeah, saves. Four, nice. Four saves against 14. Yep. My answer is dead. Okay. Uh, just in case, I will uh, spend the tactical awareness from Scarface to um, put him into suppressor fire. Yeah, sounds good. And that's it. Okay. So it's my turn now. I'm out of command tokens. But I guess that's that's fine. Let's see. I'd like to have an impetuous order of the Varangian Guard. He's gonna go towards the deployment zone. He's gonna go three inches here. If you'd like to arrow at him through the repeater, you can do that, but uh, uh, he's already targeted. Yeah, of course, so in that case, uh, nothing happens. Okay, uh, I'm gonna drop a smoke mm -hmm. right under my feet. Seventeens. That's a success. Mm -hmm. um, Unfortunately, no, bo both holds are sealed, right? So no tiger emergence on your side. Yeah. Yeah, on my side, both holes are, are sealed. Yeah. 
that's correct. Okay, um, so I got... Did I lose anyone? Yes, nope. I did. Lo I did lose the the green line. That's right. Okay. So let's see. Let's move in, uh, Miss Shona. Or maybe we should move the link team instead. But I'm not sure if uh, the hideout with the decharges is gonna be in range for the for the guy. Hmm. Yeah, let's activate Shona instead. So she's gonna move. Two inches here, one inch to here uh, to see the repeater. Yep. Uh, got no arrows, I believe. Yep. I'm gonna SMG him. Yep. On 14s. That's a crit and two hits. So far, saves. Yep. Okay, destroyed. Seventh to last order. I mean eighth. So Shona's gonna go three inches here. And then she will try to dodge forward for four inches to squeeze a bit more distance there. Actually, can she do two dodges in a row? I'm gonna check that. Mm. It's gonna be hilarious if she if she can do that. I don't think so because you would have been faster than in that case. Well, yeah. that's a movement skill. Can only dash. Yeah. Active trooper. Well, let's not cheese it. <laughs> Let's just do movement and dodge. So 17s, yep, she's good. So she zips four inches towards here. She is then gonna move three inches there and then another three inches there. She will then have a whack at the at the door. Mm -hmm. with martial arts level four and that's yep. a crit so yeah four saves no nope. okay destroyed and now uh let's roll out with our humble varangian Actually, I'm um, yeah, it's not that important to kill your lieutenant. It's more important to do something about Scarface actually Because he's worth more points simply put So the Varangians do have yeah, they got dug in, so they have some semi-decent chances of survival. And their Berserk is gonna be mitigated by your CC attack minus three of your Scarface. Okay, so moving him out uh, for three inches over there to stay out of line of sight of uh, Arslan. Yep. And then we're gonna drop another smoke. Uh, remember that I'm shooting on minus six, thanks to MSV one. Oh, 
and that minus 6 is somewhat mitigated because the Varangian is targeted. It, yeah, s somehow. Right. Okay, okay. This, okay, this changes things. <laughs> now that you mentioned it, <laughs> there is no escape. I have to kill Arzalan. All right. <laughs> Okay, Not then that he's rushed his points, but... <laughs> okay, scratch scratch that. Actually, you know what? You know what's what can be pretty cool? I mean, Oslan is already an obvious lieutenant, uh, but uh, he's also an MSV2, so you can... You could, in theory, pose uh, Tao Wu as Oslan. So he's gonna go another four inches towards Arslan. Yep. Okay, so he's going to be shooting me at 19s. I'm going to be shooting him at... Yep. Uh, but, but, but remember, it's only MSV1, so uh, always minus 6 for things through smoke. I mean, yeah, but... Uh... Yeah, if you're approaching me uh, directly, then I'm shooting on 19. Right. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's do this differently then. Uh, let's move him 3.2 inches here and 1.8 inches there. And then another 4 inches over there. Oh, where is the spotlight? There it is. Okay. Okay, and I believe I can still does, but I, yeah, I still I still need the line of line of fire. Okay. Third to last order. I'm gonna move him four inches to here into close distance with the with the MSV Arslan. So what are your uh, arrows? Uh. Do we have line of fire or not? The intention is so that we do have it. Yeah, and I think we do. Okay, so you have a chain rifle, right? Uh, but never, never mind. I will shoot you with my multi rifle in shock mode. Okay, and double I'm action, double action, double, double action, action. Of course, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, in that case, I'm gonna shoot you with uh, submachine gun, uh, mm -hmm. with the with the shock mode as well. So three yep. and thirteens uh, and nineteens uh, for you. Yeah. Okay, of course. Gotta... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> I wanted to say something about that will be the first face-to-face uh, -face role again. I, I will win, but uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, Two hits or one? Yikes. Only one. Only one. So it's uh, 13, I have armor 3, and in cover... No, not in cover, as I'm standing there, but... Oh, uh... damn it. That's... Ugh. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> okay, second to last order. Uh, let's have a move, and let's move the Varangian one inch here and three inches here. Uh, I believe Cordelia can change facing if she wants to. Maybe yes. the Scarface as well, although Scarface can, uh, he's, he's still seeing both angles. Uh, so Scarface shouldn't get line of fire to you. Uh, Cordelia tries to change face. No, uh, yeah, I, I mean, when I finally appear right there, you yeah, will then, be. Then will okay, change facing, uh, uh, and I'm gonna... Just in case. And I'm gonna move four inches right there. That was my second to last order. Get a change so facing. I was, yeah, yeah, I was outside of your Z ZOC. Outside? Okay. 
Yeah. yeah. So not outside of the yeah, scar bases, a... zone the control. Yeah, but uh, Cordelia made it with. Uh... Yes, that's right. Yeah. Okay, and now the last order. Uh, I'm gonna suicide run the uh, the Varangian. Oh, can I? Yeah, it looks like I can. Yeah. So I'm gonna move in base to base with uh, with Cordelia, but if I want to, I can shoot you with uh, with SMG or chain rifle from that position while approaching you. Yeah, I will simply put my uh, cha uh, chain cold over you, and Scarface will shoot you with uh, his HMG and suppressor fire. Okay, and I'm gonna chain rifle both of you. Yeah. So uh, Cordelia has chain cold, right? Yeah. That's cool. I didn't notice it, but okay. Um, here goes the armor save. Uh, I am Duggan. And okay. now your Scarface. Three on 16s. Oh, 13. And yeah, you're targeted. I'm 16, targeted, right? yeah. That's a crit and <laughs> another save. Yeah, boy. Yeah. So damage 16. And he's perforated. Okay, so the save for Cordelia. Um, no, I think she's no. unconscious. Yeah. Okay. And Scarface. Scarface is fine. Yeah. Okay, that's my that's my turn three. Um, actually, I still got my. Uh, Tactical awareness and lieutenant order. So I can do something, but um, actually, Guija is in an excellent spot right now because the smoke is out and we can see the approach here. So, we, yeah, I think, or hmm, I don't know. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the lieutenant order of the of the Guija, bam bam. So he's in the difficult terrain, so he moves five. Okay, he moves. Uh, actually, actually, ca he cannot move there, can he? Yeah, because uh, the the it's a narrow gate. Yeah. Normally, and that's 25 millimeters, I guess. It's defined as uh, that, and you're, have, you're standing on a 55 millimeter base. So uh, the N4 rules say you need to move to... Uh, it's, it's half your base at maximum, I guess. But I'm not that sure about it. Right, only... Uh, yeah, only troopers with silhouette 2 or lower. Okay, um, let's see what we can do then. Uh, never mind. Okay, uh, in that case, I'm gonna move Guija five inches right there. Uh, no arrows, I think, and then uh, three inches. Okay, that's kind of bad. Over there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably goofed it. Yeah, I haven't goofed it. Um, whatever. Uh, the order has been spent already. And then the tactical awareness order, I'm gonna drop him into suppressive fire again. And that's my turn. Okay. Uh, I'm in loss of lieutenant, but there's one Jews left. So we have one regular order. And we have... Uh, so Scarface is not a, uh, he's not a veteran. He, no, he isn't. Okay. But uh, I believe you can still outdo me in terms of points, probably, maybe. No. Seventy points went south with uh, Wolf and uh, Aslan. But the Guija is. It's about 80 points, I think, as far as the cost is concerned. So, um, 
since Scarface killed Riverangian, he he's is Pesha now. now. Yeah. yeah. And, and he's not, yeah, and he's not in the link. Not a yeah. duo. Or is he? That sounds appropriate because actually no, you killed him while you were in the duo with yeah. Cordelia, so the frenzy rules did not apply. But uh But that's that that's the impetuous that, rules. And regarding the no, frenzy no. Isn't it uh, just um, that being in a link team just denies or uh, makes me regular or non impetuous uh, in the impetuous phase? Or no? It denies the effects of an impetuous phase, but uh, yeah. frenzy but not is not the same as impetuous. So yeah. let's see. Uh, oh, man. If the user caused the, an enemy trooper to lose at least one point of their wounds or a structural attribute, or to enter that state when he deploys blah 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 okay um maybe it's in the fire team rules okay that there is frenzy okay uh, while in the fire team the frenzy and the petuous special skills of a trooper are not applied okay so the frenzy is also not applied so you're good you're not in the so, so i'm not uh, but i wanted to be that's the problem here. <laughs> yeah, that's that's okay. turn three. You you got two command tokens. Uh, yeah. You can use it. So in that case, I will uh, use my tactical awareness order on Scarface. Okay. And move him six uh, six inches to this maybe. Uh, you don't want to be in too. No. Uh, very well. Uh, the Guija will try to multi HMG you with suppressive fire to see uh, whether it's uh, in range or not. Yeah, and I will go with my AP HMG. Okay. Ah, shit. Okay, so I'm on, I'm at minus three. Yeah, I'm on and you'd uh, be thirteen. On, yeah, you'd be on your native native skill. Oh, it crit. oh, that's a crit. Oh, that's, that's a crit. Nice. And I missed everything. And uh, so I then got it's uh, four. Four saves. Four hits on sixteen with uh, AP. Yeah. I got two wounds. Uh, so now. Yeah. Guija is going to drop his suppressive fire and guts into cover for two inches like this. You do know that we can now guts uh, while going forward, while going towards the enemy, right? Not directly, but yeah, seems fine. Okay, so no more suppressive fire. He's in cover. Okay, so four orders left. Um, am I able to reach some of your HVTs with four orders? Are they are that well hidden. The hex can, uh, can be seen from somewhere around here. And I think you're tall oh. enough to see the Toha diplomatic delegate as well. By the way, before before I forgot the this thing. No, of we course, forgot yeah. about the tigers. Yeah. Sorry about that. So one here, one here. You can actually. Uh, Scap is can shoot this one yeah you you can shoot it on arrow and then retroactively yep. you'd be having an impetuous uh, move yeah <laughs> since uh, there no. was uh, yeah okay that that's part of your ruling here uh, is are they are they uh, deploying before the impetuous phase or uh, in the end like that is uh, the point here they're deploying at the at the start 
at, at the very, 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 very start of the turn. So, okay. Yeah. You can have an arrow. Yeah, uh, you were I, in no, suppressive um, fire mode, I think. Yes. Yeah, of course. So suppressive fire. But I won't get uh, an impetuous order here uh, since or I won't use it because otherwise I would have uh, taken... Uh, I would have risked uh, being too narrow to the Gujia. So I thought maybe I'm uh, out of 24 inch. So no impetuous order for me, but three shots on 13. So it's one hit. One hit. Tiger. And she's fine. <laughs> and uh, oh, she's gonna got... Actually, I'm not sure that it, it... I don't think it can get right now. So she, I guess she'll just uh, drop prone. Okay. Instead. Yeah. So then I will take Scuffy's his own irregular order to uh, move him up six inches to this. I totally okay. don't want to. Tiger is gonna chain cold, and I hold on. Do you want to see Shona? No oh, shit, she's there, yeah, right? Yeah, cause uh, she is there. But yeah, I think she saw me right in the beginning. No, I don't think so. Only when okay, you so... uh, dropped here. Yeah. Ah, uh, that is there. She is. Um, yeah. it's okay. Okay, uh, Tiger yeah. is gonna chain cold you, and Shona mm -hmm. is gonna dodge, uh, dodge the hell out of the line of sight. Or maybe, I, th I believe she's got a flash boss in her profile. Let me check mm -hmm. that. Uh, indeed, she has. So, let's flash pulse. Okay. I will uh, split burst with my HMG. Um, one shot against the tiger and three shots against uh, Shona. Okay. Who do you like to, to do first? Let's do Shona. Yeah. Since she's the one you, you'll want to face to face with. Uh, I'm so. on 10. Okay. And that's a 15. That's almost a crit. So two uh, BTS saves for me. No, only one. No, is it's flash, a is flash. Is it it's stun, a stun now. It's a stun now. Oh, so it means that I could. Okay, so yeah. it means that I could. Uh, I could have flash pulsed the war driver, and I didn't. Okay, in that case, I'm stunned, and that's it. So there's no reason to. <laughs> To uh, make it longer as needed. Can't do anything, so. Yeah, agreed. <sighs> what? What are the dice? Jesus. Those dice were ridiculous. Your play with with the repeater was uh, pretty good. It was a nice deterrent, but uh, Shona did manage to. Just destroy it uh, in one order. Yeah, I guess that's it also, the problem. Yeah, yeah I, I guess it also it is also important that I I only lost uh, the Guilang out of all models, and uh, my other guys were not sticking out uh, too much. Well, uh, I think if my first turn. Uh, wasn't that bad with the dice. I would have managed to open the door and simply shoot all the three designated targets. Oh yeah, that's true. And in, if if I would have succeeded in that, yeah, I could simply wait for every uh, for things to come then. But yeah. with the killer hacker failing that much and uh, Wolf getting the problems with the tiger, yeah. The war driver was half of the reason why. Uh why it turned out the way it did yeah so 
I played some games uh, you, with this mission, and I saw what people can do when they uh, when they go when they are going in for the kill. So um, disposing of the war driver if you're going first is not that great of an idea because uh, you're just mm -hmm. doing your opponent a favor who actually has to go in and uh, kill everything there and the war driver in m4 yep. he can now spotlight and uh, he has a direct template weapon now in terms of the boarding shotgun so he is a very nice uh, deterrent that uh, he eats up at your orders and uh, now that I think of it it may be that uh, the player who rescues the designated targets uh, has some sort of advantage doesn't feel quite right the way how easy it was to just uh, grab all the designated targets and move them out. Uh, it's not about the fact that uh, you can move them out uh, by passing a whip roll uh, while, them, while having them in the zone of control. It's more of a... The way how easy it is to move them into your deployment zone, I guess. I'm not sure how we can uh, change that, and I don't know whether we should change that, because the experience of this game may be skewed due to the dice rolls that we had. Because yeah. Shona, she just, uh, she just cut through these doors like a lightsaber. while the while mr wolf uh, was having some trouble uh, he's actually pretty nice model i think considering his uh, burst bonuses and uh, mm. other cool stuff he is a capable close combat specialist so um, i'd say he's got his points worth and he's got multi-rifle, yeah, sure. which is very versatile. Yeah. I think there's no big reason to uh, to take Aslan uh, now with uh, Wolf in the sector. So, I mean, he's yeah. He's one point cheaper and does much things quite uh, better. So, yeah. Arslan is still a nice anti-warband guy, and uh, it's not even about the fact that he can shoot with uh, minus six. It's about the fact that you cannot smoke dodge against him. So if you yeah. smoke dodge against him, it's just a normal roll instead of face-to-face -face roll. This, in my opinion, is uh, the main huge thing that makes him uh, more valuable. Oh, and also, before I forgot, since he has a light shotgun, He's got a direct template weapon, yeah. so he doesn't even have to roll if he's if you're within the six inches. You can just put the the thing uh, on the enemy, and that's it. So yeah, he's uh, pretty good. White company is uh, that's just a filth. Uh, it's uh, ridiculously good. I think I wasn't using the hideout multi sniper previously. Uh, I was using like a, a mixed up core of Kaplan's and CSU's and John Hawkwood. So uh, uh, this link fares much, much better against uh, anything, really. The Kaplan's may be relegated towards a Harris, mm. but then there is another Harris option for Kaplan's, which includes a Jujak with Tinbot and a Haidao with Killer Hacker device that can hack at plus three for him and uh, minus six for the enemy hacker. Yeah, so the then firewall. you can take uh, 
the Kaplan Spitfire, the Jujak, and the uh, Haidao Killer Hacker, and have yes. all you need in one link. Yeah, and there is also a budget in term, a budget option of heavy rocket launcher. It costs like mm. uh, twenty three points, so it's not even inflated in the slightest. Heavy rocket launcher, light shotgun, kind of a messy loadout. It's kind of evil because uh, the fire ammunition of the HRL is prohibited. Shotguns are also prohibited. So the Kaplans don't appear to be uh, those knights in white armor as they used to be. They, there's <laughs> something more sinister about them now because <laughs> they're willing to take a shotgun. Yeah, but so yeah. yeah. Um, I'm surprised that the Guilangs are AVA1 because in the promotional materials of White Company they were AVA1. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, I confused that. Uh, in promotional materials they were AVA1, but now in the builder they are AVA2. So you can take two Guilangs, two specialists with uh, camouflage. So I used to think that Oh well, only one Guilang specialist. I'll probably pick an FO and then I'll just grab a Tiger Soldier to be my uh, specialist for 30 points, the paramedic guy. But um, yeah, now with the two Guilangs, I'm not even sure I'm gonna field Tiger Soldiers, given the, uh, the tactical window rule uh, that has become mandatory. I'm still not not quite confident in the list building for 15 points. I can only go like either 20 points, like in Capocalchi or the Shad, or I can go 10 points in the Shad or in White Company. White Company feels pretty nice in one combat group. Ah, but Slot that's the. Good, yeah. That's uh, the issue with the split combat groups. Once you're used to it, to have uh, eight and seven guys in each combat group, then uh, things get more easy. So, but if you are used to uh, have a full combat group and then only a support group or um, uh, have a bigger support group, then things get serious. Yeah, of course. But that's just a habit. Yeah, it can. Yeah, uh, we can manage and we can outgrow it. So, uh, for the record, uh, the Squeegee, obviously he was lieutenant, but in case he died, uh, the Hawk would, would, would have overtaken uh, the command with the chain of command. And I would have been able to use him as an aggressive solo, solo lieutenant in case uh, things went south. So, overall, I think it's a very solid list that yep. I got. Can't complain, really. Oh, sorry. Oof. I'm kind of surprised that you underutilized Scarface. Uh, he uh, wasn't doing much during all those turns. You were using uh, link teams. And since the link teams were, well, kind of squishy, uh, as far as like confronting tigers and other stuff, um, it was kind of surprising. Um, no, the, the reason behind simply was uh, the fact that uh, I planned in turn one, uh, turn one to uh, take Mr. Wolf to, to kill the designated targets. So that was turn one uh, plan. And Scarface right. was no option here, uh, not, not needed for that. Since I uh, already, uh, I also wanted to have the decharges on the killer hacker somewhere around the holes to um, seal them if possible. Okay, so that was failed turn, turn one. Turn two, I thought about uh, getting Scarface somewhere like here um, to, to approach your sniper. But uh, since he has the HMG, um, I would have had no range benefit. And then Well, neither, things... did my, neither would my sniper. Yeah, but uh, since uh, Wolf was free then, um, I thought maybe if he best for multi-rifle, that could be more useful here in the close ranges. All right. 
Um, well, you know, that's when the Mark 12 and heavy rocket launcher option comes in yeah. for the Scarface. I, cause he's I really missed that. Yeah, that, that would have been uh, much more valuable this time. Or at least the AP Spitfire. Since uh, HMG is... In turn 2, at least, uh, you're too narrow to, to mitigate the... Uh, to, to use the HMG right. So that was yeah. a quite lucky t situation with your good gear uh, now, but the Spitfire is, is a better thing, or even the Mark 12 with the heavy rocket launcher, yeah. But it's quite expensive now, and... Yeah. Yeah. But I, I'd still say that Mark 12 and... Uh, Mark 12 plus two HRLs uh, is the most versatile loadout, in my opinion, because you cover pretty much all of the range bands um, and the burst 3 HRL is no joke no, I uh, it think it's the... pretty interesting there is no burst bonus on the uh, heavy rocket launcher Wait, just uh, 2 mark 12 yeah. hold on let me check that it's, um, Spitfire, uh, no heavy rocket launcher oh yeah He's just a good nut okay. now. Okay. He just sports nice. twin Mark 12s and twin rocket launchers. So, yeah. <laughs> Would you consider okay, yeah. bringing him uh, with this loadout next time? Of course. Of course. Yeah. Every time now. Yeah, pretty nasty. Okay. Uh, well, thank you for the game. Uh, I gotta go yeah, now. Thank you, too. Once, yeah, Once I edit this thing, uh, I'm going to upload a battle report into the forum thread of, uh, yeah. uh, it's going to be uploaded to the custom Infinity Emissions thread. Okay, and great. And maybe uh, I'm going to create the white company thread with uh, the bat reps. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. Um, I, I will write my battery, battery report maybe today or tomorrow. So then okay. things will be written down. Yeah. Great. Got it. Thank you. So then have a nice have a nice Sunday and thank you again. Yeah, likewise.